Are you thinking about taking advantage of one-year homes for sale in Sicily? Or have you already decided that you're buying a cheap Italian property, but everyone you speak to gives you bad advice and has you second-guessing your decision? Last February, I was just like you. I saw a news article about houses for sale for $1 and I was ready to buy. I actually did and have been documenting my experience ever since. Today's video, I'm covering the top five lies circulating from people who don't know and haven't been through this process. My goal is to give you the right information so you don't give up on your dream of owning your vacation home in Italy. On this channel, I mostly talk about real estate and business. I bought two cheap properties in the town of Musomeli, Sicily for less than 20,000 euros. In this process, I've learned quite a bit. If you want more information on these topics, make sure that you subscribe and you turn that notification bell on. It's time for you to start living your dreams. My name is Carl Pierre, and this is EMTP Life. The first lie that comes my way all the time is this must be a scam. This is not a scam. It's totally legit. These properties are being sold by the government because they've either been repossessed or the owners have left them behind and neglected in such a way that the government has stepped in and said, hey, look, we'll forgive whatever has been going on in the past, just sell this property to somebody who really cares. The main concerns of these municipalities that are selling these properties is that they don't want them to just fall apart and just become their problem. So what they do is they incentivize everybody else to buy these properties for just one euro with one condition. That condition is that you must maintain the facade and ensure that the property is safe and free from collapsing. And of course, the last catch is, it's your responsibility to pay taxes on that property. So by you moving in there, you're making sure that the neighborhood doesn't fall to complete disrepair and that somebody's actually the caretaker of this property. And then the town and you both benefit because you got the property for cheap and they don't have to keep maintaining that property on their budget. These dollar deals also happen in the United States. It used to happen in Harlem and I think they were doing it out in Detroit as well, as well as in parts of Ohio. So this is not a scam. This is a commonly used practice to raise attention get people's eyes on this particular problem. So people who are creative types will come in there, take the chance, take the risk, and redevelop these communities. Lie number two, that these properties are only one euro. You see, the consideration price is legit. They are being sold and marketed for one dollar, but it's not gonna cost you just one dollar to make this deal happen. Let me explain. When you're buying a property, there are more fees involved than just the price of the property. There's usually gonna be like a title fee or an insurance fee and even the payment of taxes, as well as your recording fees and a bunch of other miscellaneous fees that are going to be included in these transactions too. So when you're buying a house here in the United States, you're gonna be paying these fees, right? You're gonna be paying your attorney's fees for whatever they do if you're in a state that uses attorneys. If you're in a state like Florida where there isn't an attorney that's mandatory in a transaction, you still have a title agency that's involved to record your deed, to record the mortgage if you're having a mortgage, to review your documentation, make sure that it's a legit sale. The same is gonna happen with your one year home in Italy. Lie number three is that all of them are falling apart. Not all of these homes are ruins. Some of them are in decent shape. Obviously the ones that are in decent shape sell a whole lot faster than the ones that are falling apart. If you look back at my video where I toured these one-year homes, the majority of them were in really, really bad shape. And that's because they've been doing this program for a while now, so the best of the inventory of course gets scooped up first. The fourth lie is that Italians don't want them, and if the locals don't want them, they must be junk. The thing that you need to remember is that a lot of these one-year homes are being negotiated directly with the seller. Let me give you an example. The house right next door to mine, the one that's overlooking the cliffs, was also just listed and sold for one euro. Now that house wasn't in the worst of shape. It actually didn't need that much. I was considering buying it. In fact, I'm the one that went to the agent to ask the agent if she could locate the seller and see if the seller would want to participate. The reason they did is because they've been paying taxes on the house. And they were like, you know what? I'd rather pass this house off to somebody else who's gonna renovate it than just keep it sitting there and me paying taxes. So not all the homes are gonna be in complete disrepair where they're falling apart. Some of them are gonna be in pretty decent shape where you can move in, put a little elbow grease in, and have your own when you're a home. Now this is one that comes across my feed all the time. Why, why, why are the Italians not racing over to Busomelli and towns just like it and buying up all the properties or they're just selling it for one euro. There must be something wrong. Well, the reality is that usually people who are local, they don't really take advantage of those opportunities. And if they were the investing type, they would have already. 
sometimes you need to put the word out to more people so that you're going to attract the type of people that are going to actually take on these projects. Let me give you an example of that. In Harlem, New York, Harlem was killed by the crack epidemic and historically had some issues with poverty. But Harlem is in New York City, just like north of Times Square, okay? This is prime real estate as far as I'm concerned. When Harlem was in bad shape, they decided also to do these $1 sales. So the people who took a chance on Harlem and waited out that transitional period made out like fat cats. Today, properties in Harlem are selling easily from $1.6 to $3.2 million. Talk about a good deal. And the worst lie of them all, buying a Euro home entitles you to residency or citizenship. As nice as that might sound, you can't get EU residency for just one buck. Now this is another one that comes up, I swear, at least 15 times a week. Someone asked me, do I get EU residency if I buy one of these one euro homes? Or they've heard that you have to live there if you buy one of these one euro homes. Absolutely not. You could buy this home as a foreigner, but it does not guarantee you residency in Italy or in the EU. The reason is because, first of all, it's only one euro. One of the major qualifying factors to get residency, even if you get like retirement residency in Italy, is that you need to have an external income so that you're not competing with people for jobs. Italy's had a problem retaining their talent, retaining their youth, because there's just not enough job activity. So the last thing that they want are foreigners coming into the country and gobbling up whatever jobs that are available. So if you're gonna be coming in to one of these one euro homes and plan on living there and making it like your retirement home or, or your primary residency, you better make sure that you have enough income to support yourself. Now the income that I've heard that's been thrown around out there is that you need to make at least $2,000 or 2,000 euros per month, which isn't that much money, but that's like the threshold for qualifying for getting residency or, or being considered retired. This income has to be completely passive, so it could come from a 401k, it could come from uh, real estate that you own, but it can't be like a W-2 job. It has to be passive income. Now there's another channel that I personally subscribe to called Nomad Capitalist, and on Nomad Capitalist, he recently went over changes to the Italian like buy your visa or buy your residency uh, program, which I believe you could get your residency with an investment in Italy of as little as $250,000. I'm gonna insert a card right above so that you can check out that video so that those of you who are looking to make an investment into Italy to get residency can actually take advantage of that, but it's not gonna be one euro. So the last thing that I wanna cover on this whole residency topic is that I believe that as an American, you can spend 90 days uninterrupted in Italy on your visa just by traveling into the country. You would need to leave, but then come back to spend your next 90 days for a total of 180 days or half of the calendar year. Now this works perfectly if this is gonna be your vacation home, but if you're gonna have a primary residence in Europe, you might want to bounce around from country to country, maybe leave the Eurozone for a while, maybe you have a home in South America and a home in Italy, maybe you go back and forth because of the seasons. If you do something like that, then you don't really have to get permanent residency, but it's entirely up to you how you wanna manage that. If you do have enough money to qualify for the retirement visa or that $250,000 investment, then take advantage of it, build your dream home off of this one euro you know, footprint. Think about that for just one second. You could buy the land, you could tear down the whole property and build whatever you want, buy yourself residency, build the home that you dream of, and it only costs you a dollar for the land. That's still pretty cheap. Now that you have the proper information, are you ready to buy? If you need any help, you can always email me at carl at soulsapier.com, which I included down below, so that I can put you in contact with the team that I worked with so that you could go out there and do the same. Also, at the very end of this video is the perfect follow-up, which is a step-by-step -step process of getting one of these properties. So you make sure that you check that video out so you know what you're getting yourself into and what the next steps should be. Now that you've made it all the way to the end and you got some useful information for free, the least that you could do is subscribe. I don't mind begging shamelessly, so make sure you click that subscription button and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for joining me here at ENTP Life. Ciao.